Mark Samani and uh, playing Alter Bridge. We're out down low today and um, I'm playing my new guitar, which is um, it's one of my signature models. But with this one, I was looking up artists online and I found this artist named Joe Fenton. And I loved all the stuff he did. And um, I contacted his, his manager and struck a deal with her to see if he would paint a guitar because he's never done guitars. He just does flat um, pencil art and um, so I talked to him and, and said you know if I send you a guitar and just have it sanded down just the wood can you paint it so he was all about it he did it in acrylic PRS took the uh, which are normally plastic plates and they they did them in, in wood so he could paint the whole the whole thing we wanted to do the model without the bar on it because you have when you have the bar you had the whole another section here so we kept that out so it's a fixed bridge but it's um, it's a great piece of art. I love it. I'm, I'm very happy with it. And it was probably an eight month process between me contacting the artist and his manager and, and finally getting the guitar. But it's it plays great as well. I use it every night since I've had it. And um, it's just a, a wonderful thing. I talked when I was talking to him, I said, I, I was drawn to your art because I'm a big fan of Euronymous Bosch. My, my father was an artist. He used to have all these artist books on the bookshelf and when we'd eat, we'd eat dinner, I'd flip through them and I'd, I'd always run into Euronymous Bosch who had, his most famous, famous painting was The Garden of Earthly Delights, which was a triptych of heaven, hell, and purgatory. So I said, um, if I'm not mistaken, you like Bosch because your stuff looks a lot like it, not a lot like it, but it looks similar. And he said, I love Bosch. And so I said, why don't we do a play on that where we make the back of the guitar, the heavenly scene, and then um, on the front, it's the more hellish scene. So it's kind of a take on the Garden of Earthly Delights where you have um, the Vatican back here and you have the angel. And I, I, he probably has that as God, the, the eye in the sky here. Um, and then on the front, you have the more sinister stuff. I think that here's Charon, the boatman, I think. And um, you know, you have the woman with her head chopped off with this, the apple of temptation there and uh it's uh you know he sent me a few just a few shots of what he was thinking and i fell in love with it right away um when we did the the signature model at the time prs had just double cutaways and the the knobs were in all the wrong spots and so i you know you had the, the pickup switch down here and just two knobs for tone and volume and i wanted to uh have it different. So they sent me a few guitars and I kept on saying, you know, it's just not quite right. The pickups that, that PRS used to put in their guitars were more of a round, bluesier. They're more, they fit better for like Nashville artists and blues artists. And um, so after being picky, after about two or three guitars they sent me, they said, why don't we do a signature model for you? So we started going through it and um, we, th I think they wound up about 10 different pickups combinations and uh, we went with the dragon tooth for the neck and this is just a signature pickup that's uh, wound you know it's just a much um, gainier pickup than they've ever done before it's uh, it's brighter than what they've done before so I had to just kind of take some of the presence and high end out of what I was used to when I was playing Les Pauls before but the it cuts really well it's got um, but it's not harsh it cuts in a good way and uh, it's got the rosewood neck it's got the normal frets the neck is uh it's not thin it's not fat it's kind of a somewhere in between it's just just right for me you know we just we we felt a few necks i told him i, I played a um les paul studio light when i was a kid and that's kind of what i got comfortable with it's bigger than like an ibanez neck it's smaller than the big baseball bat you know 59 les paul neck it's kind of in, in between so i love the neck um you know without the paint, you know, it's got the maple top mahogany body, and um, they constantly are changing the tuners, making it, they've got better technology all the time, so um, the new tuners work great. The, um, the pickups look a little different nowadays, but they're still the same pickups as they were before, um, and it's just a great guitar. I love it. Still my favorite guitar.